that we can serve, my God. Oh, my God, I don't care what level you reach. I don't care who you are. When you are called to the kingdom with your rich self, you call to serve. That's right. Because the earth is the Lord's and the full is thereof. The cattle upon a thousand hills is his. Yes. He just let you borrow some stuff while yes. you're here. Yes, yes. And so when he called you out and say, hey, I need you to do this, that, and the other for me, he ain't trying to hear you talking about, well, I got to do this. I gave you that. You mean to tell you can't serve me? You can't help me? I'm the one who's blessing you. I'm the one who's keeping you. Serve me. My God. This is powerful for me, and I'm loving it. Amen. And so what we have to understand is that the first thing we have to do is we have to go to the text. Let's go to the text and really see some things here because not only is Jesus showing us some things outwardly, but he's showing us what's going on in his mind as well. Amen? Amen. The first thing we need to see here in verse number one of the text is it says, Jesus, knowing that his hour had come, that he would depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. Mm, My God, Jesus is a bad dude, man. I'm telling y'all, hook up with him if you haven't. Uh, uh, he loved them to the end. Yeah. Catch this, watch this, watch this. What we need to get out of this is Jesus did more than what was expected of him. How do we know this? Well, the scripture is saying that Jesus is getting ready to be crucified for the sins of the world, is he not? Mm -hmm. And so watch this. I would think, with my silly behind, I would think that him being crucified would be good enough. Mm -hmm. He's going to die for the sins of the world. I'm going to get ready to check up out of here. I'm going to die for people who don't even like me. I, I'm going to die for people who, 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 who can care less about me. I'm going to die for some folk who slap me, who are going to slap me, they're going to spit on me, they're going to kick, kick me. That should be enough. Mm. And for some of us, that would be enough. But for Jesus, that wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. Jesus does more than what's expected of him because he understands here that yes, I'm going to die, but all of a sudden he had a need or felt a need to go above expectation. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I'm going to die, but there's something else that I feel the need that I got to do. You see, when you are a true servant, it's not enough to just do what's expected, but you want to go above expectations. Write that down. Go above expectations. <laughs> Jesus is like, listen, I know I'm going to die for them. I know I'm going to give them all that I got. But they know I'll die for them. They know that I'll serve them. They know that I'll heal them. They know that I'll feed them. Let me hit them with something else that they ain't looking for. See, every now and then, you got to be able to switch it up. <laughs> you got to be able to go above and beyond expectations. And sometimes where we are falling short is in the area of going above expectations. We do enough just to get by. Yeah. But with Jesus, he's going to make the ultimate sacrifice. See, we think we're making a sacrifice just by coming to church once a week. Jesus is going to make the ultimate sacrifice. He's going to lay his life down. And he said, that ain't enough. Mm, glory. There's one more thing mm -hmm. that I need to do here. I'm going to give you something that you're not expecting. And how we know that Jesus went above expectations. If you ever study the Bible, watch this. If you ever study the Bible, anytime Jesus did something, you would notice that the the text will say, and he did this to fulfill the prophecy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it don't say that here. Mm. It just said that he did. All right. It don't say he did it to fulfill anything. He did it because he wanted to do something for them that they didn't know or didn't understand. 
And so, why would Jesus go above expectations? Well, the scripture says he loved them to the end, which means that love compelled him to do more. When you love somebody, service comes easy, is not laborious. Mm -hmm. But when you like, Get out of it. <laughs> if it make you feel taxed, leave it alone. Mm -hmm. But when you love people, see, I spend my, I really work seven days a week. Mm. Got my secular job Monday through Friday, and then I don't have no weekend <laughs> because of everything I got going on Monday through Friday. I'm forced to have to do church stuff on Saturday. And then come up here and talk y'all, and y'all look at me like I'm boring y'all to death sometimes. And I'll be like, man, these folk only knew that this brother don't work seven days a week. This brother don't get no time off. But I do it. Why? Because of love. Love said, get your behind up and go pray. Love said, get your behind up and go get you a word. Love said, show up. Yes. Amen, amen. Shut your mouth, boy. I'm gonna help you later on, but I need you to love now. Amen. <laughs> amen. amen. And so when you love, there's no labor involved. The love is just love. And so Jesus loved his disciples too much to imp not impart service in them. Watch this. Jesus understood because a true servant understands that your work isn't done until there's nothing left to do. Your work isn't done until there's nothing left to do. Jesus said, yes, I'm going to die. I'm going to lay down my life. I'm going to give it all up. But there's one more thing I got to show them. There's one more thing they haven't seen. There's one more thing I got to impart in them. There's one more lesson I got to teach them. There's one more labor of love I got to give them. Let me wash their feet because I'm not done until I serve yes. them. Yes, yes, I'm going to make the ultimate sacrifice. And that's cool and that's good. But I ain't done until I serve them. I got to show you this. Because I'm not done. My work isn't done until there's nothing left to do. Jesus is sitting here reclining and kicking. And they just thinking he's being king. But Jesus is thinking about the next move he's going to make. How can I help them a little yes. further? How can I do more yes. for them? How can I uplift them? How can I inspire them? How can I show them what the kingdom is really all about? Mm -hmm. Jesus gets up from the table. Grabs a towel. they like, what Jesus doing? He's going to wipe dishes. Jesus girds himself and starts washing their feet. Because there's one more lesson I got to teach you before I get up out of here. The second thing, and this is really going to help you. The second thing we need to understand is Jesus was not partial when it came down to who he would serve. Not like us. You know, I do that for some so and so. I ain't doing it for so and so. You know how we get? Come on, talk to me, talk to me. Y'all ain't like y'all ain't never done that before. Amen. Amen. How do we know this? How do we know this? That Jesus was not partial. Watch this. In verse number two, it says, During supper, the devil, having already put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon to betray him. In verse 11 it says, For he knew the one who was betraying him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. Yes. Watch this. Hmm. The scripture says that while Judas was eating Jesus' groceries, <laughs> the devil was already in uh -huh. Jesus' plot. While he was eating his groceries. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. It also says that Jesus knew he was the devil. Right, he was full of the devil. Mm -hmm. But what I understand is, is the scripture, what it doesn't tell us is, is Jesus saying, Judas, I ain't washing your feet because you're going to betray me. You're a hater. <laughs> you're going to trade on me, man. I'm not washing your feet. The scripture, ain't that in there somewhere? No. Mm -mm. What? Mm -mm. <laughs> For real? Mm -mm. Give me tell you, it's not in there where it says, Jesus, now hold on, Jesus knew that the boy had the devil in him. The devil jumped in, Judy, while he was eating the fish 
and the bread 